What's going on, boys and girls? We're back with another episode of this infested podcast with coronavirus. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny public health joke. Um, Do me a favor. Yeah. Don't become a comedian. I won't. My channel is <clears throat> dead and dying. Um, to boy the just like your channel. Wait, oh, uh, I was already. Never mind. The ACMGS <laughs> joined as always with Fallon. Fallon, Fallen. That was good. I don't know why I said. Oh, that's because I just came from, from from Nevada. Anyways, no, nobody says that out there. Oh, actually, yeah, they do. I lied. Never mind. Anyways, games and things episode twelve. Um, we haven't done one of these in a while, so we have some old news to cover. Just because as, none of you watch it as usual. That, that that's very true. Uh, we kicked off E three season with Jeff Keeley saying he wouldn't host <laughs> well yeah i'm getting there <laughs> jeff Keeley said he wouldn't host the uh, e3 coliseum for the first time 25 years since the show <clears throat> began he believes that the show should take a more digital approach little did he know his wish would come true because a mere two months later they would officially cancel e3 because of alcohol yeah and all of the uh all of the other major publishing companies have taken up and they said we're looking into other ways to engage our fans those companies being bethesda ea um ubisoft microsoft uh and of course sony and nintendo have their own versions already um established um, nintendo direct baby which when is the next one coming there's supposed to be two out soon right what uh, i actually don't know that i haven't found like a hard efficient date yet. okay never mind then uh well, I, i've heard there is one coming very soon. they did tease uh lego mario something recently on their twitter page yeah it actually looks kind of cool no they put out a video for what it's gonna be like it looks kind of cool yeah um before <laughs> e3 was canceled sony had canceled their presence at pax and gdc due to worries about the coronavirus um, and of course, as well, along with the coronavirus, sporting events have been uh, canceled, but the nice teams, soul. some teams are still playing just without an audience. Um, That's mostly soccer. Um, co college campuses the... have been shut down, moving all classes to online. That's ridiculous. The crazy, and I don't get to watch March Madness this year. I oh, hate well. this virus. Oh well, you know, Jonas. Some people have other interests besides fictional characters. You know, some people don't give a fuck about sports. Just saying. You're right. Um, You're right. But I didn't ask you to give your opinion. I was saying I'm sad because I can't watch buzzer beaters. I'm sorry that you don't have your yearly entertainment value. Thank you. That's yeah. all I wanted. To do. Um, shocking news. Uh, this was actually fairly recently. Uh, Kojima Productions. And 505 oh Games are teaming up to put oh Death God. Stranding on PC. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I'm not done. I'm not even done. I'm not even halfway through this blurb. Death Stranding, or uh, on June 2nd, for Steam and Epic Game Stores, um, oh. in-game users for Steam will get a head crab helmet. They can uh, walk around in for 26 hours. Yeah, I don't think Epic Game Store will have that, but, you know. Uh, speaking of Kojima productions p playstation and uh konami are teaming up with kojima and norman reedus to do silent hills oh which is kind of oh is that the one that was teased that never happened yes that was the one that was oh, pt so good yeah that was way. the first person yeah that, that was really was weird so good. That um was so good. this became a shock to most people because of the way that konami treated yeah. kojima uh, under the horrible working conditions over in Japan, and he has his own studio now, so it'll be uh, interesting. Um, we're going through this really fast. Uh, <laughs> You're going through this really fast. That is true. It usually doesn't happen. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, there was a story with the uh, 75 quests or whatever that were being like handmade. Apparently, that whole story was false somebody had taken um like questions that other people had asked the developers and put their answers in like one article and then rewrote it as their own which is kind of 
weird, I guess. And it kind of shows just how the media doesn't like to, you know, verify where the original sources came from. Right. Um, and they just lap up, you know, whatever breaking news uh, comes up. Uh, after that, Xbox players who own a copy of Cyberpunk 2077 will get a free upgrade when the Xbox <clears throat> Series X comes out. Uh, with no mention of PS4, this is mainly due to the technology that Microsoft has where they say, hey, you can take this code and you can apply it to all of our stuff. That way you can play it on mobile, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your PC, and of course on the Xbox. And this is um, something I believe that they offer all of their developers. And I think CD Projekt Red was the first to say, okay, we'll do that because other companies, <coughs> Ubisoft, are greedy. Um and they want you to pay for stuff. But in a way, PS4 is doing that because you can reuse your PS4 discs on the PlayStation 5. But it's not like an upgraded um, disc. But you can still play it is the thing. Which is completely different to the PS3 because you have to just buy new games for the PS4 to work. Um, Cyberpunk apparently has melee well we knew it had melee combat but it also has blocking and parrying abilities which oh, is kind of no. cool this is going to get sweaty it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Black Flag and Cyberpunk <laughs> no oh, dude it's going to be worse than that people with samurai swords like me you know melee, melee only runs people like we're in Fallout it's like the guns are the main part of the game, but it's like, no, no, there's a melee aspect, and people do melee-only runs, so it'd be interesting I, to see this game in the melee-only run. My first Fallout 4 playthrough, I swapped halfway through the game to just a rocket hammer and just, like, beat the entire game doing that. It was so much fun. Yeah, you can do it's that. It's really fun. Um, Cyberpunk has also, just this week, it's been submitted for the uh, MSRB rating. Um, so there are currently uh, news and reviewers who are playing the game, and they said they will lift the uh, embargo, I think they said a week before the game comes out, or the weekend before, something like that. Um, enough about Cyberpunk. Back to Sony. Um, there was a patent, I don't know if you heard about this, uh, a patent that was filed that seems to lead to a voice assistant that would help you by tracking progress and offering tips on certain resources that other players used that you could buy via microtransactions. Oh, no. So it would be like you were like playing a game like Dark Souls and you like keep dying to the same thing and something would pop up and be like, would you like to buy this resource? And then you would purchase it with either in-game money or actual money, which I absolutely 100% hate this idea. I really hope it doesn't get put into the um, final game. Unlucky. Um, with the current t -t -t hardware, Sony would be buying $450 for each console. Um, Oops, sorry, guys. <laughs> the price for the overall console is still undetermined. Um, the, uh, we all know how the, uh, February Sony event went. It never happened. Um, so now we're just basically waiting for the next, um, state of play to happen. However, state of play might continue, but it, I don't think we'll get PlayStation news for the PS5 yet because of the coronavirus. There's a lot of delays going on right yeah. now. Um, so people or are, are, uh, analysts are saying that there won't be a holiday launch. It won't be until next year due to the uh, material shortage, which would be uh, interesting. Um, however, despite that, the PS5 trademark has been licensed in Japan. Um, that was, I think, before the uh, coronavirus really, um, really picked up. Uh, the new head of worldwide entertainment for Sony, Herman Holst, who is the, uh, on the last podcast, he had been promoted. This is the former Guerrilla Games uh, lead director who did um, Horizon Zero Dawn. 
Um, and he said that the single player experience will continue to be the focus over the company and will continue to do so with the PS5. So if you're a player like me, don't really care for multiplayer, you like single player games, that's, that's good news. Um, and the most shocking news, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn will be released on PC. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, the graphics are going to be interesting. There's a whole lot of memes about this. It's like, because Death Stranding did it, and now it's Horizon. And it's like, only on PlayStation 4 for uh, a little while. Yeah. Um, so, it's going to be interesting. I really like mm -hmm. that idea i suppose there are some people who are really mad that this is on pc now so i have no idea i think horizon will be really cool on pc it's people the graphics the graphics on ultra yeah, wide know. monitor ps4 pro or uh pc um yeah. another uh patent besides the voice assistant would be for the controller to detect your sweat from your the palms of your hands and your heart rate. Um, hmm. An example of this being used would be if you're playing a scary game, let's say Resident Evil, but your heart rate isn't elevated enough, the game would actually throw more scary enemies or creatures or scenes at you to try to increase your heart rate, which sounds interesting, but I don't know if I like that or not. Um... Uh, Sony has also announced there is a Uncharted movie. Um, well, this has been announced for a while. Uh, it's moving ahead, though. Tom Holland, who is in Spider-Man, will play Nathan Drake. Mark Wahlberg is to play Sully. Uh, and Antonio Banderas is to be an unnamed character. And the director is Ruben Fleischer. And I've never heard of him before. Um, so that's going to be an interesting movie. Um, that's actually one movie I haven't heard of that's been halted due to um, coronavirus. Um, in some very exciting news uh, that I actually, I think, texted you about, Ghost of Tsushima got a new story trailer. Uh, so new, good. New pre-order editions. The release date is now June 26th of this year, um, which means it will be the second main AAA title for me. Uh, the first being The Last of Us comes out May 28th. Um, cyberpunk being the third coming out in September um, the scenes in the trailer alone there's one particular scene I think you know what I'm talking about where he's like standing at the edge of a mountain range and you just see the wind swirling around him and the leaves mm -hmm. it's so gorgeous so gorgeous um, that is probably I actually made a whole video about the trailer in the different editions um, it's going to be very uh, interesting um, so go check that out uh, Thor, Love and Thunder good old Marvel movies um, this will be the fourth Thor movie they cast Christian Bale who played as Bruce Wayne and Batman in The Dark Knight uh, as the main villain so we had um, I forget his name now um, he was in the uh, Tombstone movie was um, was <coughs> was in the last guardians of the galaxy movie i forget that actor's name and now we have christian bale as a thor villain um reggie for, former president of nintendo america joined the gamestop board of directors oh come on reggie um i'm assuming they wanted him to help them try to figure out a way to not die turn yeah that basically but to turn gamestop into so currently it's basically run off of like pre-owned games and pre-orders and stuff and they're trying to make it to like that local like quirky little area that everybody goes to play like D D and magic the gathering or um yeah. pokemon or Yu Gi Oh. they're trying to make like gamestop locations into that or like um smash bros tournaments can be held and stuff like that um so that will be uh, interesting to see if GameStop survives. Um, the new, there is a, oh, uh, earlier this week we got some news um, about some sort of Witcher sequel that wouldn't be, it wouldn't be The Witcher 4, and it's not going to be a sequel to The Witcher 3, but possibly set in that um 
universe and it's going to be the core focus of uh, CD Projekt Red immediately after the release of Cyberpunk 2077. Um, but don't fret, because if you're like me, you're thinking, wait a minute, what about the multiplayer for Cyberpunk and all the DLC and stuff? Well, right now, there's a small core team that's working on the Witcher game. Once um, Cyberpunk is launched, the focus will shift so that small team that's currently working on the witcher will probably be working on the uh, dlc and everything for cd project for uh cyberpunk um so that'll be very interesting to see how the multiplayer works especially considering they're um completely switching uh switching focus if you will um and last but not least the second to last story already it's crazy uh last of us is getting an hbo series with craig mazin who scripted chernobyl um and neil Druckmann, who directed the last of us 2 um who's a game director and screenwriter um so this will be interesting because last of us is held by you know many as a uh, game of their generation or the decade um so it'll be interesting to see how that series turns out, especially because I know you don't watch HBO, but I saw Chernobyl and I thought it was really well done, um, well done series. And then the last thing also ties into Naughty Dog. I'm sure you've heard about this. Naughty Dog's under fire for crunch culture. You, what? Naughty Dog's under fire for crunch culture. Crunch culture. crunch culture is that the one where they do too many like what yes. happened with rockstar yes uh, so we've seen this before with um cd project red with the witcher 3 where they ended up with crunch culture um we saw this with rockstar with red dead redemption 2 um and now we are seeing it with naughty dog there's an article that came out recently from former naughty dog employees saying that um it messed them up mentally and physically and emotionally and this that and the other um it's kind of funny because some people want the last of us part two to fail just to prove their point that crunch culture isn't the way to go look at red dead <laughs> crunch culture isn't the way to go yeah right and there's there's some people and i want to get your opinion on this because I, I can kind of see both sides mm -hmm. because no matter where you work there will always be points in time where you are asked to work over to, to work hours over what you're already working right yeah so it's like i have a security job there have been multiple times where i will stay to help do something that i wasn't originally scheduled for but it's like well i'm already here might as well get the money it's in every job do i think it's right for them to ask their employees to do that yes because as an employer they can ask pretty much anything um, of you but it is not a requirement for people to stay over it yeah. is do you, i mean you're getting paid for that time you're being asked it's up to you to say yes i'll stay finish the work and get the money or no i don't want the extra money in the paycheck i think i'll go home now it's it's your choice um it's your choice entirely whether or not you should or shouldn't do this and yeah, that I agree that was actually addressed in the article and they were like well we can't really say no because then it backs up the pipeline of what everybody else is doing and it's like okay well if it backs up the pipeline of what everybody else is doing that sounds like you guys need to unionize and you know do something about it or you all just go home at the same time um but this is also from the uh there was a point where after the last of us and after um after uncharted like the lost legacy there was a point where a lot of their core people who worked on the original game left because of crunch culture. So when the idea for The Last of Us Part Two started up as a concept, <clears throat> they were okay. But then they moved into development and they needed to fill key positions very quickly with 
amateur people who were not as experienced in the field. So a lot of people were saying if they had the original team who knew what they were doing, they didn't have to retrain people, Last of Us Part Two would have come out in 2019. Mm. But because of, you know, whatever reasons, because of crunch culture, the original team left and they had to hire more people. So it's not just about crunch, you know, cr- uh, crunch time. It's also hiring, um, hiring new people to do stuff and whatnot. Um, so like I said, I could see both ways, you know, family and um, having time off is definitely uh, important, but crunch is a part of every culture, every job that you will more than likely um, ever work. If you, you know, for example, take a look at teachers, which is what I want to do for a living. Teachers don't necessarily really ever stop working. <laughs> I mean, they're on the clock and they have a salary and they practically work year round, even when they're not in the classroom teaching they still have to go home and grade papers or yeah. come up with lesson plans or presentations or powerpoints or whatever and it's like you never really stop working in that type of career um and i mean i'm going to choose to do that and i'm not getting paid for those hours it's just something to make the experience a lot better for the kids that i'll teach um But yeah, um, super excited for Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Last of Us Part 2 is closing in. I absolutely cannot wait for May 28th. Can't come uh, fast enough. Um, what have you been playing recently? Modern Warfare on my PC, Halo on my PC, um, a little bit of 2K, I haven't really touched, I was going to start Code 4 too, and then I was like, I don't know. I haven't been in a single play game kind of mood just because I've had school lately. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, no, oh, I also, a um, really funny random thing, I've been playing a lot of Terraria. Mm-hmm. I love that game, I got back into that recently, and I've been enjoying it very, very much. So those are the games, I mean, I've lately been playing, um... I think there's another game i think that's it really i mean i still play battlefront too mm. but yeah it just mainly been multiplayer games because i don't really have time to sit down and like i just don't really i'm not in the mood to sit down and just play a single player game right now right i just i don't know and i think that's probably about right for this time of year because there really isn't anything coming out except uh doom eternal and animal crossing and i'm not getting it either either i mean Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon came out, but I'm just not going to spend my money on video games. Like, right? I don't you even want to. I don't even. Yeah, I don't even want because I've been buying stuff lately. Like, because I've been doing like tech, like I've been doing like little uh, DIY like technology projects. So I'm, I've been out of money, but like it was also like I just yeah I don't want to spend the money because I'd rather save it. Like I don't even want to spend ten dollars to get combat evolved. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, like, I, I, um, I, I still have to get a cord for a dual monitor. Oh, nice. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing God of War. I think I was playing that last yeah. time we did the podcast, or I just started it. Um, I'd say I'm about spoilers for God of War if you're listening. I don't know who doesn't know about it, but I think I'm about 80% of the way there. Um, I got to the port where we were exploring... Um, Tears Temple, and then Atreus gets sick, and you have to bring him back to the witch, and then you have to go to Helheim to get the heart from the Bridge of the Demon, and then you have to go back to Atreus, and you have to go back to the vault. Um, so I'd say I'm about 80% there so far in my uh, Let's Play. Uh, picked up Rainbow Six Siege again, uh, mainly because... And I mean, this is the way it is every every time... Um, they added in some new ops. Uh, they have Oryx, which is basically Mr. Kool-Aid Man, um, where he bashes through walls, go, oh yeah! Um, and he can jump up, uh, what's it called? I forget the hatches. Um, and then Iana, I think is her name, where she gives, uh, she's like a better version of, um, I forget her name, the one that sets up the holograms. 
but her hologram like moves and stuff and you can see it and activate it which i think is pretty cool um so i got into that recently and then me and a couple other friends actually picked up remnant and we started oh, yeah me and my friend my friend got that to play and he wanted to play with me but i just got bored <laughs> Well, we actually had a good time trying, you know, not it's to die. Oh, yeah, it's actually really fun. I just... Yeah. yeah, we know. I just... I don't want to pay for live services anymore, and I just want to play my PC where I don't have to pay for live services, if that makes sense. It's a mood, yeah. Oh, that was something else I wanted to pick up on. Um, you actually reminded me of something else. When... So... If you have ever pre-ordered something before on the PlayStation you have two options you either get the game digitally from the playstation store right mm -hmm. or you go to their website which redirects you to a retailer like target or gamestop or amazon or walmart or some one of those places so i didn't want the digital version of whatever ghost of tsushima had to offer i wanted the physical i think it's called the special edition it's 70 dollars it's the equivalent to the digital deluxe or whatever edition. Um, and I went on their website and I was like, okay, I want to buy this. And I was expected to get redirected to another retailer. But instead, they actually asked me for my shipping info. And I filled it out. And then it said shipping is only $5 to send like whatever game you pre-order. But shipping on their store is free if you have PlayStation Plus. Wait, really? That's sick. So that's another... Even though it's only five bucks, if you pre-order a... I think uh, I think if you pre-order any game, I think it's like four or five bucks tax. So that's an additional... If you do the tax plus the shipping, that'd be another ten dollars. But mm -hmm. because it was only you know five bucks but i i got a freak side playstation plus so i think that's a really cool thing because it used to be that if you would go on their store it would like i said redirect you um because it did that for the last of us but none of those interest me so i just ordered off of the um off of the store hmm. anyways that's interesting i decided they didn't oh, yeah uh -huh. they didn't do the statue that i thought they would so thankfully, I ended up not buying the collector's edition of the game. Nice. Even though the mask looks sick. What do you call? It? I remember what I was gonna say now. The only game I have interest in, uh, like, playing that single player is Mystery Dungeon. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. I'm, like I said, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna not spend money right now because I want to do yeah. another little project with my Raspberry Pi. So I don't know if I want to get Mystery Dungeon or do that. So we'll see what happens. Oh. Hmm. I bought Dreams recently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the donkey videos are they have tears. just have to mention him, don't you? Um Dude, the videos are so funny. I know. Uh oh my gosh. I've been exploring I I'll, I'll get like an idea for a video game and I'll search for it and it'll be there and I'll play through it. Um oh. I actually uh, added to my playlist the Mario in 64 game. Um, that somebody That's made. Not complete yet. Yeah. Uh, I did that. I'm also currently in a bidding war on eBay for a copy of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice for like ten bucks, which isn't bad. Okay. Because I know for a fact I'm not going to finish it. Just like Dark Souls Three, I played it like four or five times. I got further each time, but I never beat it. Sekiro, I just want to taste what the combat is like and die a whole lot. That's my only goal in life. Um, I mean, you might get your wish soon. If I contract it, <laughs> coronavirus. Anyways, um, so yeah, you seen any uh movies recently? The last movie I saw in nineteen seventeen. Good movie. Good movie. Phenomenal movie. I loved the way it was shot. Um, I think I don't know if we talked about this before. But besides that, nope, I have not because I'm not going to the theaters right now. That is a stupid idea. <laughs> yeah, you right. Uh, let me check my thing here to see. 
Uh, if I've seen any yeah. of those. Nope, the only movie I've seen this year is 1917. I still want to go see Sonic. I still want to see... Uh, we were going to see it, and then we just never did. I still want to see Wonder Gold, Greyhound. No Time to Die also got pushed back to, like, November for um, coronavirus issues. Um, oh, that's totally something I'm actually sure. doing. So, because of coronavirus, my work uh, decided, hey... You're scheduled for X amount of days and X amount of hours. And even though you don't have to work or you don't have to come in because of the coronavirus, we are still going to pay you for those hours. So basically, I get to sit around and do nothing because I'm not going to college until later this year. If we're still doing face-to-face um, sessions. Um, so basically, I get to sit around and get paid for three weeks for doing nothing. So... Mm-hmm. Because I have to sit around a do week for three weeks and do nothing and still get paid, I need something that I can do. On top of the regular stuff that I, you know, just watch here and there, I decided it's time that I watch all of the Bond oh. films. Um, oh. And so what currently I'm trying to watch at least one Bond film a day until I finish them all and the uh, new one comes out. Jonah. I want to comment on something really quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazon has this thing they're doing where they're doing trade-ins. So like what? GameStop. Ooh. I, be- I bet that's... Do you send them in or is it like a local? Yeah, you, se- you send them in whenever you purchase like an- another game. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Too bad. I don't have anything, actually. I have some stuff. That's I... why I'm... I highly doubt that they'll have Sekiro for like ten bucks. I I have some games I would love to trade in, but just, if I get the price of this game down, I wish I could trade Mario Party because that game was so disappointing. That game's garbage. Mario Party? The new one, yeah. Hmm. The new one wasn't good. There's only four maps. It's hmm. I'm probably gonna piss some people off saying that, but nah, chief. Oh. It was no uh, twenty bucks. I get a lot of money off this game. And now, uh, let's see what what else do we have? Uh, how many? How many? Oh, I could talk about my trip to Vegas <laughs> a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. Um, went to Vegas. Uh, flew out on a Thursday. It was miserable because it was like a four and a half hour flight from here to uh uh, uh L A. And then we took another like hour. Uh, we took another hour and a half flight from LA to Reno, I think. Yes, it was Reno. Yeah, you Reno. You didn't go to the coffee shop I told you about because you didn't want to. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> Kill yourself. And then we spent a couple of days with uh, family. Um, miraculously, while I was on vacation. Never mind, I'm not going to say that. Uh, we ended up going to Vegas. We had a show there. Um, it was pretty interesting seeing Vegas. Um, You've never been? Nope, had never been. Um, you we were in s- Vegas at the same time as my dad. That's actually funny. <laughs> we were staying at the Treasure Island Hotel. It's a pretty nice oh, okay. hotel. Uh, really nice hotel. Casino, right at- you mean? No, hotel. Oh, you didn't stay in a casino? Actually, it might have been a casino. That's what Whatever. Saying, <clears throat> it was right across the strip from the um, Mirage Hotel. Um, I did something that many people probably don't end up saying, in that I went there, I had a set amount of money to spend, gambling-wise, and I ended up doubling my money. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> I'm just saying... Uh, and I talked to one of my other friends, and he was like, it must be beginner's luck, because he said he's had two other people, other friends, who had never gambled before, no gambling experience. It's, it's true, no, it's true. And they beginner's go for the first time, exist. and they all doubled their money. And I was like, this beginner's is luck weird does, that I'm... It does exist. It's weird that I'm, I'm a statistic that now. now. And we were in the gift shop. There's like five gift shops in this one hotel. And, um... 
I saw a little duck and I wanted the little duck. It was only four bucks. I got the little duck and I bought it right before I went to gamble. And he was in my pocket when I pulled my wallet out. So that is now my lucky duck. His name is Charles and he likes the bath. He is my lucky duck. He goes with me everywhere from now on. Hmm. Because I put him in my pocket right before I... Uh, what's it called? <clears throat> right before I bet my money. Um, it's interesting uh, because the roulette wheel that we used was actually... It, it was a real wheel, but the way you played was actually digital, which I thought was interesting. Um, uh-huh. Put your cash in a machine and it sucks it in and then you actually take your money and you can put it wherever you want on the digital tablet it was really cool um compared to like an actual table oh yeah i don't really like gambling so you're talking to the wrong person I well no i no no see i don't either it's just i i just can't believe that i don't put my money <laughs> the first time doing it dude you're um, so cool you are so cool can you drop the fucking sarcastic attitude, asshole? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Dang. But yeah, that was that was my experience. And, oh, when we were trying to walk to the show, there were like four different groups of these girls dressed in cop outfits. But they weren't cops. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't much of an outfit. <laughs> yeah, you're in Vegas, Jonah. Oh yeah, no, I know. I saw some titties. Just saying. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey. And I mean, monetization income. <laughs> but um. All right, nobody watches this. They probably won't even catch it. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> um. But yeah, that was that was about it. I thought we would yeah, have had a lot more topics which we do have quite a many <laughs> but just talk through them so fast yeah you do yeah I do. when we this podcast has become you know once a month uh podcast because gaming news is dry right now um for april i don't know if we'll even need to do one because really um that was the last big news was like last week it was like crunch culture with last of us and then the uh, hbo thing and that happened literally like a couple days ago um so we may not end up doing like a podcast until there's gaming news if that makes sense um which means we'll end up probably compiling uh all of the different um, info from the different streams during the E3 time, quote unquote, in June or July. Um, mm-hmm. My channel will more than likely be dead. Uh, I was thinking about doing Horizon it, Zero wait, Dawn. It's already dead. What are you? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about doing Horizon Zero Dawn Let's Play, but I'm not sure how I feel. I mean, part of me says, uh, why not? Because I'm finishing God of War. And I'm pretty sure that if I did Horizon, it would probably keep me covered until Last of Us came out. But I have absolutely no idea. I might actually record some of our Remnant segments and upload them. I don't know, though. Funny moments. We'll see. We'll see. So, thank you guys for watching uh, episode 12. Not many more episodes to come in the future um so uh we'll see you guys next time bye what's going on boys and girls ladies and gentlemen the acmj gamer here uh this is not a part of the podcast this is was done in post-production and it's just a little uh side note a little something i wanted to tell you guys um so first of all uh this is going up the same week that my god of war finale for my let's play is going up um so i want you guys to go check that out this will go up on a Tuesday, the finale more than likely will be on a uh, Friday if I can help it. Um, that's the first thing. Second thing is uh, the podcast was a little bit short this week because we did not have enough information or stories or questions or what have you uh, to extend the podcast to its full uh, hour. So more than likely, we will not be doing a podcast monthly unless we have 
enough info. Uh, so with that being said, I also wanted to say that because my God of War Let's Play finale is going to be going up this same week, um, during the uh, coming months, there probably won't be that much content on my channel. Actually, there won't be that much content on my channel unless we're doing a podcast that month. Um, and it will stay that way until May 29th when The Last of Us Part 2 uh, comes out. Um, so basically, for the whole month of April, with the exception of the potential podcast, and for majority of May, ex with the exception of a potential podcast, um, until The Last of Us Part 2, actually until The Last of Us Part 2, there won't be any sort of consistent or frequent videos or things um, up being uploaded on my channel until the last of us part two. Now, thankfully through the month of, um, through the month of June, May, June. Yeah. Uh, through the month of, uh, June, I will be doing the last of us part two. So there will be some sort of consistency during that month, but also during the month of June, um, is, uh, potential, uh, coverage for different leaks, um, that happen before, the streams of E3 start, um, which are all online, all digital. E3, quote unquote, is officially um, canceled, and I more than likely will end up going through the various different websites to try and figure out um, which companies' live streams are starting when. And I will probably do a video that's just informative of saying, okay, if you're interested in this, that, or the other company, it starts this time, yada, yada, yada. Um, and if I don't do that, I will cover a page that does or that will do that. Um, also, along with the E3 streams, I more than likely won't be streaming it myself. I'll be watching other people, um, but I will be uploading uh, any games or trailers that I am interested in. And uh, keep in mind that during E3, this has been a couple of years now, uh, during E3 for me, any games or trailers that I think look interesting that I upload uh, to this channel have a potential of being covered on the channel. If it's not, and I mean, you know, it, it just depends on what it is, but um, the trailers that I do like during the streams, I will put on, the, on this channel as a potential to play. Um, and then of course, uh, at the end of June, um, June is going to be, I was going to say, June is going to be a very heavy month, considering, um, because we'll have Last of Us Part 2 going out, um, early in the month we'll have the E3 coverage, quote-unquote E3, because it's been cancelled, um, and then at the very end of the month on June 26th, uh, Ghost of Tsushima will be coming out, and that, June, February, June, July, um, Ghost of Tsushima coverage will happen into the month of July, um, now, those are only two of the three big games. The third game doesn't come out till September, um, and I will actually be starting uh, classes in August. So it's not that big of a time gap. Um, I'm practically not really doing anything consistent for the month of April, um, for the month of April or May, and then uh, June is a heavy hitter month. Um, but after that, until we get to September. Uh, for Cyberpunk, there really isn't going to be anything going on uh, this channel. And because I've talked about the things for so long, I more than likely won't be covering any other games. Now, of course, this is all right now. And this is um, because, A, I don't have anything to cover on my channel. So I'm not going to be uploading any content. Um, I've covered all of the games that I want to play. Um, I've played all the games that I want to play um, on this channel, at least. Uh, so God of War was the last one, and then the three new games coming out this year are going to be the last three. Now, there is potential for more um, content as the uh, when the PS5 comes out and as new games are um, announced. I am 100% positive Sony is going to be doing a state of play around E3, and we should get more information on which games are going to be... Um, uh, title launch exclusives with the PS5. Um, so, again, depending on what comes out on the PS5, uh, I more than likely won't get it until 
um, we have confirmed games um, for this channel specifically. There's only one game right now that has pretty much all but been confirmed would be the um, would be God of War 5, the sequel to the game that I'm currently playing right now. Um, if they do a God of War 5 and I have a PlayStation 5 at the time, I will record that for the channel. Um, but that will not be until next year, more than likely. There were rumors about a Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. I didn't do the first one on this channel because I don't. I didn't think it would be a good fit for this channel. So the second one, more than likely, I will buy on sale and I will play that on my own time. But as for right now, um, those are the three games that I have. Um, I'm sorry about the couple months in between content-wise, uh, but we are still going strong. We're still, you know, moving forward, taking it one day at a time, not to mention this whole... Uh, pandemic that is currently happening around us. I hope you guys stay safe and I hope you guys enjoy the podcast.